Hello, everybody. Welcome to Best Whole New World. You have uh, Kate and I, Ireland to Canada, talking about empowering women today. On Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous Mondays. <laughs> Because isn't that what everybody felt like this morning? Yes, it's Monday. <laughs> we wish everybody, I hope we have populations like that at least. <laughs> well, is that how you jumped out of bed this morning? I did. Actually, I jumped out very quickly because I was late. I, was... <laughs> I had to be quick. <laughs> fine, I said. We'll be grand, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> and and I think just laughing, right? Just giggling and laughing at the situation. I mean, it just frees you up to be present to what else is possible. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I just put the music on Ed Sheeran, and I love this one particular song, "Dive." I know probably it's not it's not a funny about that song, but it always brings me smile because it's associated with funny memories, right? So I put a song, I share it at the back. I was grand. We are grand. We are on the go now. We <laughs> 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 went through my no bother, no bother. You know, we actually in fact we have we see you have some spare spare minutes in the end. So I said that's brilliant. You know, it'll be fine. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when you can find the spare minutes, that is brilliant. My video went in this. I just did. Where'd you go? I lost your picture. I hope I can you see me? I can see you. Yeah. Hold on. Well, then it, it is just a a marvelous Monday here with magnificent, uh, you know, moments of technology that we're so blessed to be able to be linked, but sometimes it goes in there. So just a sec. Let's see what happens if I reload. Okay. Hold on. Let's try that one. <laughs> we'll try again. I won't. Because I, I lost you, did I? Da. I have still missing um, Kate. Okay. Let's just, okay, well, well she comes back because I know she will. We are just going to be talking about empowering women. And I can see here she is now. Let's see if we can get her back up there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hide you over there because you're not there anymore. <laughs> There was a blank space where you were. So there was three of us, Kate, me, and the blank space where Kate used to be. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you see her right now, can you? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> well, isn't that – and sometimes that's just what happens, right? We have to be in the moment. So it's marvelous Monday moments. Exactly. Even if you're late. There's always so – I think once you – because the more, I think, we put, like you probably know yourself, the more you try to put the pressure on yourself, you just, oh my God, I have no time. You're really not going to have a time. When you say, I'll be grand, everything's going to be fine. It's always right. late. It's always going to be working out for you, no matter what. So I think uh, it's uh, the way how you look at the things, perspective again, and how you, how you look at yourself, and how you look at yourself, you know, I'll be fine. Once you say, I'll be fine, be grand, you'll be grand. That's for sure. You know. Yeah, and that, that's perspective, perspective. So your perspective is everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be grand. So you're looking through that door that says everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be grand. And you're going to see things come your way and look that way. If yep. you're looking the other way, <laughs> yeah, it says, oh, my gosh, I don't have enough time. I'm stressed. You know, like you can just feel that the lower vibration of that conversation. And hence, it's only natural that you end up getting stressed behind a car or, you know, you forget something and have to go back home to get it. Right. Like there's it's a compilation of what energy you put out there and what you perceive. Exactly. Because, as we know, you universe listen so if you say I'm late and, and you have no time, so that's what you're getting. You don't, we won't have a time <laughs> because that's what you're asking for. So watching, as you know yourself, you, you, you know better than I probably I do. Watching your words, what you're saying is very, very important. And we, we all, when we're rushing, it's very, very, very easy to forget these things. 
But I think also, uh, like some, some people said, because I was reading um, last time, that uh, first smile, the smile is very contagious, I think. So it helps you to get through Monday. Because there's, uh, there's some uh, British research said that people in the office smile. They have a first smile at one, a quarter past 11. And I said, <laughs> So when they're right, like this until quarter past 11? <laughs> But anyway, maybe, maybe some people are like, maybe, I don't know, you must really hate your job all the way. I don't know, maybe. But I, I said, uh, uh, yeah, I said, that was really interesting. And apart from being stressful and apart from being, you know, and I said, once you can see something good in your Monday morning. Or maybe I was thinking, maybe if you can associate uh, Monday with something nice, like you might get your favorite food on Monday or buy yourself something nice on Monday, treat yourself a coffee, go somewhere which you like on Monday, and you can associate Mondays with that particular store, that may get you easier to Monday if you don't really like Mondays in general. So I think little things like that, which can help you shift your mood better, yeah. you know? Those are great ideas. And and I think that's, you know, you bring it up if you don't really like a Monday, right? Like if you don't really like a Monday, why are you living that Monday? <laughs> like, it, you know, it's going to require deeper thinking because most people were going to say, well, because it's a job and I need the job. and But already all your ideas are limiting, just like, you know, Kate was saying about change your perspective. If you believe there's enough time to get everything done or you believe that the universe can provide for you, then everything happens in a different way than if you believe you're stuck in this job. You have to be there for so many years or so long to your contract done or to your retirement. I have a brother like that. He's got like seven more years or something. He hates his job, but he's there until he says until he retires because he's been there so long, right? Okay. And and even my, my daughter was saying, well, the geese are saying hello. Oh, done the fab. <laughs> They're making it, they're saying it is a marvelous Monday. We're here. <laughs> well, after quarter past 11. <laughs> <laughs> my smile muscles are, are already, my laughing cheeks are. <laughs> it, it can only be a marvelous Monday if they listen to us, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a laugh, especially on Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, my it was just my daughter was saying, well, what if something happens between now and seven years? Yeah. You know, and he doesn't get his pension. Like, then is he going to be more angry and more resentful that he gave the company more time for something he never liked to do? Exactly. But I think in the end of the day, we always have a choice, Jacqueline. If you really find a good choice, you can find something good or, or positive in your job, in your work environment. And as I said before, and I think on our previous video, even if it's close to your home or if you, you're working with nice people, whatever it is. But if you really cannot find anything, which I believe in, there's always something. But some people would hate that much, they can't even look for anything else. Nice. Right. So you have always option to leave. You can always, oh, you're, you're not a tree. You're not like stuck there forever. You can always go. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I think this is so, yeah, yeah, you're not rooted out to this place. So you can go, you can go and find something which really suits you. So like nobody said, oh, you have to stay in this job because this or the other. There's so many options. The universe is, uh, on, has unlimited possibilities. So there's so many, like my sister, for instance, with a couple of months, I think only two or three months, she has already a job. She changed job like this. No, the problem. If you're looking for something, you will get it. It's not like I mean, we are limiting ourselves because I said I. There's no job. There is plenty of jobs. If you look for something, you will get it for sure. Right. And and you know when you said look at something positive, you what about the fact that you're actually getting paid for what it is you're doing? Mm -hmm. You know, like you know wherever if that's the whole reason you're going to work because you're saying it's a it's a job then then be grateful that you're actually getting paid i lost you again <laughs> you lost me again yeah can you hear me now i can hear you but i can't see you <laughs> i can yeah you know what i can't see you um hold on let's 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 do this again let's see we're gonna so what <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see if you can come back again. <laughs> All coming back to me. No, Bye. we're back to blank over there, and I've got I've got two blanks now. I've got. Okay. This is funny. Oh, wait, do you see this picture? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one on. So when you go back and watch the watch the um, replay, you'll now see that there's like like space above each of us. It's like black screen, black screen, da, 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 because technically they're all you, but you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you off now and take you off there. This is good practice. Okay, so there you <laughs> um, Okay, so key one is change your perspective, find something positive. Big time. So it goes back to even day one when we were talking. It says, you wake up and you're feeling, ugh. You look in the mirror and you say, I love you. You're gorgeous. Amazing. <laughs> right? And and you focus on the fact that you're awesome versus the pimple that showed up on your face last night. Exactly. Doesn't matter. We can be still covers. <laughs> <laughs> And then you go, oh, my gosh, the clock doesn't have, you know, I'm late. And you say what? I say I'm late. I, was, I always have a grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, and always are, even if I'm so late, if I get off. But, you know, funny enough, I always remind, I always say to myself, oh, somebody's watching over me. Because <laughs> no matter what, if I, how late I am, I always get up. And the right time, so I get everything ready myself and Cooper to school. Even if it's yeah. rushing, I was like, we grand, we grand. I mean, yeah, grand. We always, we always fine. We always at a time. Maybe a few minutes late here and there, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? We're there. So uh, we're we fine. And this is, it's all, like I said, it's all about the perspective. Oh, because I know I'll be fine no matter what. And right. no matter what, even that, if it comes to life, I said, no matter what's going to come my way, I always know I manage because I manage so far so well. But different stuff would happen in my life, so I says I'd be glad if that if I manage with that, I'd be fine for the rest of my life for sure. So <laughs> I know I'd be grand, I always manage. So that's my person. I, I think that's a, a Kate tweetable. I'll always be grand. <laughs> I'm gone again, but you look it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. So so Kate is um Kate is doing this. In, I'm in again, out again, perspective mode, just to give you an idea that it's about changing perspective. So one minute she's in the game and one minute she's out of the game and you get to choose which side you want to do. She's always in the game. She's grand, but she's just giving you a physical visualization of what it's like. Let's see if we can bring her back now. Hocus pocus magic. Okay, so let's see what's going on now. I've got me back. I see me back, and I'm believing Kate is back now, too. Let's see. We see. No, we still don't see Kate. Can Kate hear me, though? <laughs> back. Oh, now here she comes. Okay, she's coming back. I see her now. Let's. This is so much fun. This is... This it's is... There you are. I'm back. You're back. See, you're doing such a great illustration. We didn't even plan this, but you're doing such a perfect visualization of perspective. Is she here or is she not here? Is she on time or is she not on time? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know with the weather because it's windy here as hell, but maybe it is. I, but it's not sure to be that. But I don't know. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Happy grand. Oh, happy grand. <laughs> <laughs> but it is grand. See, well, the thing about life is life happens. And, right, we're blessed to have this technology that can connect us. And, and I feel the beauty of the live is it's real versus we can do video and we can edit it and we can make it, you know, we can be perfect and pretty and, you know, get rid of the technological blips. But that, 
that is a edited version of reality that there aren't bumps. There are bumps, but you just choose to see them as grand and hence it is grand. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's a lot of things. Now you have me so much through, like you were saying, if you stay committed but unattached, right? I, I could have to process that for days and days and days and process that because I said I couldn't get my head around it, but really helped me. I've no idea how much helped me. But even to moon days, if you said committed, I'd be fine, be grand, but stay with that. Whatever's gonna happen, happen. Doesn't matter. And let go. Let go basically. So things of which are out of your control, let go because I think letting go is the like, key. Oh my god, there's so much help. Like get getting off the weight of your shoulder on the pressure and stress. Mm -hmm. And just do whatever you can do. And whatever stuff you can do, obviously is out of your control. What would you bother about? Like there's no point, there's nothing we can do. So just you know, because the universe, as you're saying, Jacqueline, has always bigger picture. We might not see it now. Oh. Yes, you know. So just trust. Trust is a big key. Like every, every Monday, Mondays can be five days if you want to. You know, no matter what's going to happen. No yeah. I, I, I feel that it's, I think when you said it's perspective, that that's so perfect. It's perfectly in perspective because it, <laughs> it it's like it's the glass half empty or half full. Right. And you realize that as your conversation is about empowering women and wanting to help people, whether it's with your with your patients when you're at work or just every day, that there are sometimes people like I like to call them kind of like a hard boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And and you can be like so pleasant, you can be smiling at them and you can be saying, This is life grand and they're like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, go away, go away, <laughs> you know, and that's okay. But if we're just loving and kind and when we're grand, right, that does have that effect. And eventually that hard boiled egg sort of starts to mellow and hearts soften. And it's like you get that, you know, that sort of that grumpy old person that all of a sudden finally smiles at you, right, and realizes, hey, it's okay to be, be grand. Grand, exactly, exactly, exactly. We have a choice, as always, you're saying, we have a choice in the other day. I, I suppose not every Monday could be just the most fun, funny, and like we're laughing a lot, but we find joy. Yeah, probably most of the time it's everywhere we go, but I like in our so much. I mean, like. Like I probably I was kind of joyful person all, all the time, but you know, I the more I learn about myself and universe and all this, I, I just found it more being grateful for. So, but in general life, we all we all have so many things to be grateful about as well. So it's help you when you think about it as well. You know what you achieved already. Sometimes you're not tapping enough yourself on the shoulder. Said, look, they've gone really well. We just say, oh yeah, that's okay. It could be a bit better. But if you say you're actually fab and grand, and you can get yourself a nice, nice whatever little present, which is a nice cup of coffee or go for cinema do something nice for yourself on monday yeah or for instance or you you're like if you i was thinking it's a good idea if you said on monday you might set some something oh uh, on friday i go somewhere or oh, so in the end of the week you might just prepare yourself for either something which is gonna excite you they're gonna help you to go to monday anyway because you're gonna better think about the, the, the end of the week you mm -hmm. know so whatever helps whatever helps you know because yeah. sometimes I listen when I'm driving, I listen to these people. Oh my God, there's one radio station, and this this woman is on and on and on between one, one and two. She's desperate subjects. She's always the people are always ringing and giving out. I never even listen because I said, this is a horrible station, like altogether. <laughs> the talk is given out, and and either politics or people, and normally people ring in and just giving out. Think, and they fighting. On, like on uh, being you know on the broadcast and stuff and I said this is ridiculous like how would you I mean so it's you can always choose the station like you were saying to you know, to us on trust your inner guidance challenge you can always choose the station even in radio and listen to something else like you know it's up to you yeah and and it's like um you know I have that you know that song everybody dance now dance 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 you know dance 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 <laughs> And and like whenever I hear that that song, it's like yeah, you know. <laughs> and I can be in the car, but it's like you know. And it just I can just change my mode. And I know that that works great for people that really pick up the words of a song, right? That are empathetic and regurgitated. Yeah. For somebody that's listening intently to the detail, they they might be going. They're so focused on the song, they're not 
you know, they're not noticing the same way that like I'm more in the moment. So when I hear that same song, I heard a song the other day on the radio. I was, the kids had it on and I went in and it was like, it had some good words for, I forget what the good words were. And I was like, something like, I can do this. And I thought, this is good. And then it says, but everybody's got problems, but everybody's got problems. But every I was like, <laughs> turn it off. Who wants to listen to that one? And see, and now I've repeated that story three times. So I repeated that same phrase at least six times, which is how the opposite of what I want, we want in the world ripples still. So it's very careful what we receive and what we pass on. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't realize after, I think last year, that one of the girl, I, uh, actually, she, 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 she's an energy healer as well. And she was telling me about the radio and listening to songs, because I never realized that, that even listening to the song and singing the war or whatever has so much impact on our lives. I never thought that. And she said, so what, what kind of songs do you listen and what kind of words are they? And I said, oh my God, this is actually so incredible because there's so many songs that talk about being lonely and being sad and having problems and this, that, the other. And even though you like the melody, <laughs> aren't that great? To avoid this, bring it to your life, you have to kind of do a little selection. That's this is actually thinking. Actually, yeah. yeah. And and see, so so again, we're 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 the universe is helping us out here because Shadow, my beloved dog, and his name, you know, Shadow is is that is deciding to you know engage in this conversation by trying to distract us in in the background. <laughs> But it's what we're staying focused to, so we have to stay on the right radio station. Exactly. Come here. I do that to my dog. He bites even more at me, so I just all oh, forget it. <laughs> no. Well, see, he sometimes I he um you know that's just it. But that's the idea. Is life happens around us, and it's how we roll with how life happens, right? And so when we're listening to the station, um, it does have an effect on if it's only in the background. I, I feel like I had sort of in the 80s was in the ni early 90s was like um, so more of the 80s was high school, college, beginning of work. And so many of those songs, just like country songs, were about, <gasps> oh, it's the wrong guy. Heartbreak Hotel, like Whitney Houston. I'm saving all my love for the wrong guy. You know what I mean? And <laughs> and I. So many of my yeah. friends all had like broken relationships, including me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I never, I never realized that really that you actually, you actually did implement those words in your life where you're listening and we're singing this song without even thinking, as I said, without even thinking, you know. Oh my God! I said this is crazy. Like if people knew who sing the songs, how much? Force can impact their lives, not only themselves, but the other people, audience who listen to them. Oh my God, I don't think so. Be very sad, many sad songs now. <laughs> so that might be something else for people to pick: is pick on a day when you feel good, a song that you like, and have it on your iPod or your phone, right on your playlist, and yeah. know that that's the song is going to be your Monday morning song, one that you just love to listen to. That's going to shift your mood into um, a new perspective of saying. Everything's grand. You're just going to remember everything is grand. And there goes. <laughs> and I'm gone again. <laughs> there goes Kate again. There you go. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see if we can bring her back one more marvelous time here. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Are we still here? We're still here. Hey, it still worked. Yes. So you can hear the woodpecker, and now you hear Kate. See, we interrupt this broadcast with the sound of the woodpecker, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, and, and this is one of the things why I like to come out here when I can now in this once it's spring because I've been inside, is that there is so much nature. Like the blue sky, it's like connecting. It's the same... You know, 
We have this sky around us. I'm always fascinated. Like even the stars at nighttime. I don't know, but how well do you see the stars in Ireland? If it's not cloudy. If it's not cloudy, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> It's beautiful, but it's cloudy. It's, it's a lot of not for nice. It's cloudy, but it's cloudy as hell today. You can't see a thing. But anyway, <laughs> it's, it's cloudy as hell. Okay, now let's see. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is that grand? <laughs> but it's still grand because it's not raining. So I said, as long as it's dry, I don't care. <laughs> Because the sun is behind the clouds. I did one of those the other day that you might think it's overcast, right? But don't focus on the overcast. Focus on the sun behind, yeah. behind the clouds. There's no, actually, I haven't seen you sunny spots, but you look at I'm sure they're there somewhere, but she's grand because it's, not, it's, a, it's dry. Yeah. And it, it's actually quite, it's not too bad. You know, it's actually okay. It's actually okay. But it's, 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 not, it's not sunny. But we're waiting for the spring because in the region, it says it's going to be coming heat wave. I think it must be coming everywhere else but Ireland. <laughs> well, well it's still it's sunny here but like last night we had a it, like a, yesterday afternoon it started this really cold wind and um you know we went to go to the beach and i was like i'm not even getting out of the car because it had dropped to like all of a sudden negative four with the wind you know like it was just like no you know i had my even my daughter had her flip-flops on and we're like uh, no the little toes are gonna turn purple <laughs> so you know, but today, it, as long as I'm in this sheltered spot, I I can just you know be in the sun and be good. Cool. And bring this beautiful nature and this sunshine to you over there in Ireland. Please, yeah, I take it everything. I take everything on board. No water. <laughs> okay. So yeah. pick a song. Pick a pick something that brings you joy. Whether it's getting a coffee, right? Something to start your Monday off. To do to think. Something you're going to look forward to on Monday. Maybe it's a favorite place to stop in. Maybe it's a favorite outfit that you wear on a Monday. Yeah, something bright colors, apparently. Bright colors bring you even happier. Even if somebody says uh, uh, on the, the other research, if you wear a red color or something bright, which actually makes you, you know, shift your mood a bit better. And smile, 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 because you never know who you're smiling to. Even the barista, even to the people on the, because it's so contagious. And the people sit in the back. And, I think smile is very contagious. It's great. You know. And then of course as you're smiling and you're smiling and I'm smiling, then we start laughing and laughing. <laughs> it's a good one to start your Monday. Even if you just have to laugh at yourself and you look at the mirror and go, Oh my gosh, am I going to work like this? <laughs> and you know maybe it's it's like that you have something in your closet that I, I remember you having that you know that that um that blouse or those pair of shoes or that purse that was only supposed to be for special occasions you know that you were never felt like there was a special occasion that was special enough to wear <laughs> then it was out of fashion you wouldn't like to wear anymore this is <laughs> So maybe you might want to get that thing out on your Monday morning and start there and go, okay, before it goes out of fashion. <laughs> Fabulous idea. Where does I like actually stuff on Mondays? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. You know? And and we'd like to see from you what in your comments what you what you do differently. Hear what you do differently on Mondays. Because that's part of it. We want to the more we share and the more you share with your ideas about what you're doing differently on Mondays to make it a marvelous Monday, right? We're, we're putting new conversation in there and we're allowing people to listen to the grand channel. The grand channel is Kate's channel, if you're unaware of it. I might think about doing the broadcast someday. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually a great name for the channel. I never heard that before. <laughs> There you go. Well, it 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 suits you, right? Because it's grand. It's like it's something that you say, right? So it's 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 Kate. It's grand, you know. Exactly, exactly. You said it's grand. Yeah, I always say I'm grand, be grand. No matter what, you know. Yeah, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. So that's fab. Okay. So um. Anything else we have to recap here? Smiling, picking something nice, picking something you want to do like a coffee or latte, you know, laughing and uh, just... Something different maybe on the, 
different, maybe or go to different places, maybe treat yourself instead of going for fast food in the end of the week, maybe buy yourself a, a, a chips or buy yourself a pizza or whatever, kebab, whatever it is on Monday instead of weekend. So that even makes you, you know, feeling a bit better. You know, something which you like, something different on Monday. And- and I would just encourage you for, cause I heard yesterday too, someone saying Sundays, they, they spent all Sunday dreading that tomorrow was Monday. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And what a waste of a Sunday. What right? A waste. Oh my so God. if you need to be concerned about your Monday, like set a time limit. Say, okay, you know, starting at, eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at night or whatever it is, that's what I'll kick into worrying about Monday and, you know, what you have to do to get prepared for it. Whatever you need to do, but don't ruin your whole Sunday worrying about Monday. Exactly. exactly. Oh, my God, what a waste of energy, isn't it? Because it's so easy to get a cut up and now we're told to now we're worried and this and the other and you're actually ruining your day pretty much, yep. you know? Instead of having, you, you could do something fabulous and you could be even resting, but you can't rest because you're on this wheel, like a hamster. And yep. you just be worrying about this thing. Exactly. <laughs> and my friend used to say to me, will you ever get off that wheel? Because you're on the wheel again, Kayesh. Will you sit down and drink that coffee? And that's a brilliant idea. For me, it's just, yeah, getting off my wheel, just sit down and just off doing the coffee without doing the dishes in the meantime. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I, I feel that women are going to start to realize that they're, it, well, even men, but that you can do more by doing less. Because when you start to learn to take care of yourself and say, you know, it's okay, I can stop and treat myself to this, you know, extra latte coffee or whatever, or just take five minutes in the park before I go to work, you'll start to discover that that concept of t- opens up and there are other new people that come in your life to help you. Yeah. It, you know, it's like saying it's grand and changing your perspective like Kate going, you know what? It's grand. If you're a few minutes late, it's still grand because you got there with the joy in your heart. Then if you got there on time, but you're so stressed, your shoulders are tightening and then you go and you spill coffee on yourself on your way to work. And then you're really <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That, you did right because you know the more you hurry up, you try to rush the things, the more you, you little mistakes you're doing. You know, that's, that's, that's obvious because you're not paying attention. Of course, yeah. And you, know? and you know what? You save yourself embarrassing moments. Okay, so I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I feel like I just received to say this. So, okay. so um, so when years ago, Destiny was in in kindergarten. And we had that one of those moments of getting everything ready. And I just it was like, we're late. And I threw the pants on, right? Like I had thrown them and I, I just grabbed the pants over the side of the, sort of the, threw them on and I got to, da, 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 and as I was leaving, dropping her off at, at school. <laughs> okay. Another mother turns to me and says, did you drop this? Did these come out of your pants? Chocolate? <laughs> And, and what do you think had worked their way down the leg of my pants? <laughs> but my underwear from yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you did it. I was like, oh. So that was my moment of learning to just take a few minutes and start to just get present before I ran the kids at the door. <laughs> Big time, isn't it? Oh my <laughs> so there you go. When you're in hurry, she was one time when I was in hurry. I locked my I locked myself outside the door, and I had no key because the the, way, the thing in, in here is such a I don't know why the the, the houses are the doors in, in Ireland are so strange. So sometimes you can't you have the little click as well apart from putting the key anyway. So I anyway I look I just. Slammed the door behind me because I was such a hurry, right? I had no way to come back, right? Uh-huh. And the key, I didn't have a key. So uh-huh. I had to go through my window and the balcony and the ladder. And I said, oh, my God, that was Monday as well. So I said, this is because it was a hurry. I locked myself out. And I said, I had to look for ladder and I have to <laughs> get him back to the house. So the neighbors looking at me. What is she up to now? You know, seriously, getting it. 
through the balcony, through the window. I had to get in. Thank God it was open. Can you imagine it was not open at Abbey School. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I said, this is going to happen the most to Harry. But anyway, well, yeah, we were, going, we were grand. We were grand in the end because the ladder was there and the window was open. So it was, it was summertime. So thank God. <laughs> <laughs> But that, those are two great examples of what happens when you, you know, want to rush things along, right? So take the time. That's what we're trying to, we're, that's what we're saying to you. Take the time, rejoice in that Monday's marvelous and that it can be grand. It can be grand. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, love talking with you, Kate. Yeah. See you again. Have a good week. Bye. Talk to you. Bye.